Never tell me the odds. Um, Winona and Brett, uh, honestly, Joyce and Murray is the delightfully unexpected buddy movie road trip uh, pairing that I did not know I wanted and that I needed. <laughs> so tell me what your first reactions were as actors to know that your plot was basically with each other uh, for a lot of the season. And then what they bring out in each other that was just fun to play that other characters didn't you know, necessarily push out of you guys in terms of performance. Well, I was thrilled because I am a big fan and, um, you know, we got to do some stuff in season three and it was just a joy. Um, it, it was, you know, it was wild. We, we were in Lithuania and we were in, in an intense atmosphere and very sort of spontaneous. Our characters didn't know what was coming next. Um, and we got to work with an incredible actor, Nico yeah. and Tom, yeah. um, who were just, wonderful and mm -hmm. it was just really fun um and also you know it, it maintains that um that love that you know we're trying to save our, our beloved and and mm -hmm. the world in a way but i i absolutely was thrilled it was really really fun yeah i mean you know i i don't want to put you on the spot here but like you know the fact that i get to work with one of my heroes you know who is like <laughs> one of the people who is the reason that i am acting uh and, and you know somebody who i get to learn from you know i learned from watching her performances before i started doing it professionally and then uh you know and when i work with her is just like a tremendous thrill and the fact also that you know i got to know her even better this season. I mean, we became friends in season three, but like I've even closer in season four, mm -hmm. and that has been one of the great joys of my life. Aww. But um, yeah. yeah, I just love this. I mean, it, and it's also just like very connected to like, I've wanted to do this since I was a kid and uh, getting to play this like classic 80s action comedy with Winona and like be a duo and then it's sometimes a trio with Nico. It was just like amazing and I felt like it was this, uh, you know, like our take on like on Indiana Jones and just this <laughs> offbeat like Harrison Ford and Karen Allen just uh, right. going on this insane adventure to, you know, rescue our friend. It just it's was amazing. I, I originally based um, Joyce on uh, Karen Allen you did? and Marsha Mason, like a, a bunch of, <laughs> but Karen Allen was a big, um, like if you look at it. Was it Meryl and Silkwood too? Yeah, Silkwood and then, too. Like, coal miners, I yeah, well, the, I, I was watching Starman the other uh -huh. week, Jeff Bridges and yeah. Karen Allen, and yeah. it's so Stranger Things, the car, yeah, the yeah, cabin. Yeah, 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 it's very strange. It, yeah. Yeah, sorry. So it's like, no, no, I, totally. I mean, like, no, please. I like, just hearkening back to, to all of that, like, and, you know, playing out, you know, not only the story, but also a fantasy, I, uh, like a childhood fantasy of acting and, and, and movie watching. And I mean, as far as like what this brings out in Murray, I think that his relationship to Joyce, it, you know, I think the loss of Hopper, uh, you know, what, what they, we think Hopper's died. So I think that loss has like, brought Murray more out of his shell. Like the loss of a friend has made him value friends again. Um, yeah. and, and he's kept up this friendship with Joyce. And as much as he hems and haws and complains, I think down deep, he hungers for that adventure. And he's, very and he's protective. a Exactly. Yeah. And is like an addict for him, like deeply cares about Joyce in his way. Will and Elle get to have this sibling dynamic this season, which is kind of a first for the two of you guys, to be able yeah. to play that for us, you know, to be able it's to like see real that. Life. It is, so I was gonna say, <laughs> you know, it, whenever you get a pairing on screen that lets us see different facets of the character, that gives you different things to play. So being able to be in that storyline this year, what do you think it brings out in both of your characters? Oh, I mean, I think you see Will's more like protective older brother side that you haven't really seen before. And yeah, he kind of sees Eleven as like a, a sister to him and, and mm. really wants to protect and make sure she's okay. Yeah, and I think it also shows that like Will has been through the same thing that Elle has been through. Um, yeah, they have like a connection. They have a connection. I think it shows a really nice dynamic between the both of them. This is a, a strange year in that you get to 
literally shoot away from everyone that you shot from. You basically have a, a brand new, um, a, you know, storyline that doesn't, you know, mix with everybody else, at least in the beginning of the season. Jonathan, Was it easier yeah, yeah. to, yeah, to with Jonathan to kind of say, hey, uh, this feels so new so I can make Jonathan new? Exactly that, actually, yeah. Um, yeah, it, it allowed me to, you know, do something I've never kind of got to do with the character. He's always been quite contained and, uh, you know, somewhat grounded and serious. And, and, and this season allowed me to kind of just, like, breathe a little bit with him and take 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 the kind of, yeah, the, the shackles off. And, you know, that was a lot to do with Eduardo and the character of Argyle. It's like... They, the, the way they were able to riff off each other and uh, the way that we got to play in, in, in the scenes. And um, yeah, it was, it, was, it was nice. It was really nice. The Robin and Nancy uh, storyline, which is so great to see the two, Maya and Natalia, together this season. Um, I wanted to know, you know, having played the characters um, it, with other characters, you always get something new when you play different dynamics. So what do you think came out um, from both of your characters of being able to play against each other? Oh yeah, I mean it's um, it, like Robin and and Nancy just on paper are so wildly different characters in a way. They're both intelligent, uh, strong female characters, and that kind of cuts through everything. Um, you know, there's there's a strong mutual respect. Like Nancy's very kind of like has her methodology and she's pretty straightforward and like, you know, logic. But I think Robin is such an out of the box thinker um, that kind of helps, you know, I think for Nancy, it's like such a different perspective that is really um, helpful and new. Yeah, and I think Robin really admires Nancy's like ability to watch out for other people and like that powerful generosity of spirit and love and also this kind of grace um, that I feel like Robin is going through a period of insecurity or interest about, about like what are the different ways, I don't know, like how, how, to, how does Nancy do it? Like, you know, how does, she, how does she do it all and make it look so easy? And then I think as getting to know Nancy, Robin sort of starts to understand that like, it isn't all as easy as it looks and, and that there's kind of positives, they, both things and they both have a lot to learn from each other. And, gets kind of more confident through that relationship, I think. Joe, I do have to ask, you know, Thank Steve's you. been through a lot of stuff and yeah, mm -hmm. he's still in Hawkins. Um, what's, where is he going this year? Is this going to be his self-discovery season of who he wants to be and where he wants to be, whether it's in or out of Hawkins? He's going up. He's going nowhere but up. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, I think, um, yeah, I think that his whole arc is kind of about self-discovery, and I think in Robin, their relationship has kind of become this safety sort of blanket and this place where we get they can really be themselves and advocates for each other. So I think something that I I really enjoyed is kind of playing that, you know, because last last season was about our characters kind of getting to that place. So now it's actually about sort of seeing that relationship in fruition. So that was really fun to play. Um, and then just also interacting with new characters brings out new uh, elements of these characters that we've come to know. So like interacting with Joe was kind of fun because it put Steve in a new light for me. Um, and so yeah, that was really fun too. Uh, so I wanted to ask Aiden and uh, Erica, there's a, a little bit of D and D uh, space, uh, you know, with you two this season. I was just curious when you prep for something like that. Did you actually do a campaign together, or is that still an unnavigated space for the Ooh. two of you? We never played D and D. Oh my gosh! Wait, we have now. Yeah, we have recently because with, of press. Like yeah. we did a press. And I never like, thought I would be into D and D like yeah. ever until we played we played it for press. It was like two, it was a two hour it like it's not like, so long for like a normal D and D yeah. campaign, but like we act, that was really cool. I didn't was, know we were gonna do yeah, that. It was pretty there. fun. Like yeah. when I I didn't know much about it, but when I actually like played for myself it was fun. in real time, it was fun and like the yeah. whole storytelling and using your imagination. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it takes me to get used to. Yeah. But then mm -hmm. it's, it's oh I love it. I've played yeah. a couple of campaigns with some friends, but Nothing What's, like that. That was like yeah. you played real campaigns with your friends. I have before. <laughs> I did like online ones. That's fire. It is pretty great. <laughs> yeah, it was you, me, Joe Quinn, and Finn. Yeah.